And new at 10, a fight is brewing over used grains. Beer brewers in Colorado opposing a proposed federal rule concerning leftover grains known as spent grains. They're often used to feed animals. But as 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn tells us, the brewers say new FDA standards could result in the grains being dumped in landfills. At Oscar Blues Brewery, it's true, a fine brew can be judged with just one sip. Cheers. Ingredients are key, but one of those ingredients, the grains that go out as mash after being steeped in water, now under fire by the FDA. It goes out of the brewery and then comes to an animal food uh, operation. For Oscar Blues, the spent grains end up here at farms like this one called Hops and Heifers. Smells nice. Yeah, it's nice. You need it. <laughs> huh? Fed correctly, it can really help supplement the low protein grass that we have here, especially in Colorado. <laughs> so basically, it's grain that has had water added to it. Like a steaming hot bowl of oatmeal for cows. We have a great system in place, and for many years, it's been utilized as a great high protein supplement for animals. As the grain tractor pulls in, the heifers gather. They know it's a nice warm meal on this chilly day here. They're happy right now, for sure. It's kind of like chocolate cake. You don't want to give them too much of it because they really do enjoy it. To create a healthy, protein-rich supplement for the grass-fed diet of our Black Angus cattle. But rather than haul it away and feed it, the FDA is proposing tighter restrictions that would require brewers to dry out the mash, package it, and then feed it. I would create, you know, an additional challenge for sure and, and really an additional business. At New Belgium Brewery, several tons of mash are created daily and shipped to dairy and beef cattle farmers. And it's worked this way for many, many decades. To take that away or make it more difficult doesn't make a lot of uh, frontline sense in my mind. To our best of our knowledge, there's never been a case or an incident of a human or animal illness associated with this process. The Beer Institute in Washington now pressuring the FDA to fix this costly proposal. If it doesn't change, it could create a huge amount of waste. It would be very cost prohibitive, even for a large brewery like us, to put in the, uh, the equipment and infrastructure in order to dry this mash down and then package it. It would have to go into a landfill. We can compost maybe a little bit of it, but then unfortunately most of it would just get dumped as waste. In Longmont, Russell Haythorn, 7 News. So for its part, the FDA is saying the rules stem from a new, broad modernization of the food safety system. In a statement, the FDA is saying this proposed regulation would help prevent foodborne illnesses in both animals and people. Well, the Beer Institute thinks the regulation is unnecessary, saying there has never been a single reported negative incident with spent grain.